With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello. So question is saying that for the reaction, right? So this is the reaction, right? So two mole of H2 is reacting with two mole of NO, right? So giving N2 and two mole of H2, right? So the observed rate of extraction, right? So observed rate extraction for this reaction, right? So for this forward reaction is Kf NO square into H2, right? Concentration of H2, right? So now we have to find out rate extraction for the reverse reaction, right? So we have to find out rate extraction for the reverse reaction, right? So that means we have reaction like this, right? So that means we have two mole of H2, two mole of H2, which is in gaseous state, right? It and it is reacting with two two mole of nitrogen dioxide, nitrogen oxide, as that means two mole of NO, right? So here this is equilibrium state here, right? And we are getting here N2, right? So which is in gaseous state, right? And we are getting here two mole of H2O, right? Which is also in gaseous state, right? So now you can see here this reaction from this to this side. This is rate of, or you can you can say that this is forward constant, right? So equilibrium constant in the for, forward direction, right? And this is rate constant in backward direction, right? So this is rate constant in the backward direction, right? So that means if I write down the, you can say you can say that the rate of reaction is dependent on the on both the concentration, right? So that means I can say this: the rate is directly proportional to concentration right so concentration of reactant concentration of reactant right so i can say this rate is equals to k to the power concentration right to the power concentration of the reactant to the power concentration of the reactant right so now you can see here if i write down the for the forward reaction right so if i write down for the rate of forward reaction right so rate of forward reaction the rate equation becomes kf right so that means if for the forward reaction that means this side this side becomes reactant side and this side becomes product side right so this is product side and this is reactant side right so rate laws always apply on reactant side right so you can see here the equation becomes here the equation becomes here h2 to the power 2 right so because this is a stoichiometry right and here concentration of no to the power 2 right and if i write down the for the you can see that if i write down for the backward reaction right so the, from this side right so rate reaction for for backward reaction right so that means this side becomes this side becomes reactant side and this side becomes product side right so that means if i write down for backward side right backward rate right so the rate becomes kb concentration of n2 concentration of n2 into concentration of h2o square right so concentration of h2o square right and we know that at equilibrium right at equilibrium this is the property of the equilibrium we know that the at equilibrium the rate of forward reaction is equal to rate of backward direction right so this is the general equation right so the, the rate of forward direction is equal to rate of backward direction right this general equation right so this is at equilibrium right so this when this happens then we can say that equilibrium is reached right so here we have given another equation right so we have given another equation that equation is like this right so you can see here the rate of rate is given like this rate is given here it is given in the question right so it is given like this so kf concentration of no square into concentration of h2 right so this is given in the question right so but we have written here according to this stoichiometry right so this is a simple equation right so now as we know that k equilibrium right so the rate at equilibrium this this rate becomes equal right so that means i can write kf kf concentration of h2 square into concentration of no square will be equals to kb concentration of n2 into concentration of h2 square right concentration of h2 square right so now you can see here if i write down for the kf right so if i write down for the kf right so you can see here we have given this equation right so we have given this equation right so this this is actually rate of forward direction right so this is actually rate of forward direction right so i can say this if i remove only if i remove or you can say if i move only h2 concentration from this side so that means that means we have we are left here with kf concentration of h2 here concentration of n no right so there are two two concentration right so that means h2 square right so just that means i can move 
here just to make this equation right so i can move here h2 in this side right so this is kb n2 this is h2o square right so this is h2 square divided by concentration of h2 right so divided by concentration of h2 right so this is h2 right so now you can see here this is given in the question right so you can see here this is given in the question right so this i can write this is equals to this is equals to rate of forward direction right so this i can write this is equals to rate of forward direction right so this is equals to rate of forward direction and which is equals to you can see here kb concentration of n2 concentration of h2o to the power 2 right divided by concentration of h2 right and we know that rf that means rate of forward direction is equal to rate of backward direction so in this way i can also write this rb the rate of backward direction will be equals to kb concentration of n2 concentration of h2o right so this is h2o right so this is h2o square divided by concentration of h2 right so this is the rate expression in the reverse direction right so this is the rate expression in the reverse direction that means kb concentration of n2 h2o square and this is h2o right so let's check our option right so in our option you can see here kb h2o n2 square divided by h2 right so yes this is the correct answer right so you can say option a will be the correct answer right in option b you can see here kb h n2 h2o square divided by no right so but here we are getting divided by h2 right so this is this is the term right so here we are getting divided by h2 right this is h2 you can see here right but in the, in here or in option b you can see here, this is divided by n no right so this is divided by n no that means this option cannot be our answer right so option b will be wrong and this will be also wrong because in the numerator term we are getting n2 but here this this is n2 right so and this this also becomes wrong right so now, now we are left with the correct option that is option a right that is option a and option a is correct answer because in which we are getting the rate of the reverse reaction right so you can see here this is equals to kb concentration of n2 h2o square divided by h2 right so hope this answered your question so thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today